Hey guys, thank you for joining us and welcome to this brief discussion about how sulfide forms in wastewater. Sulfide is an inorganic compound that causes odor and corrosion issues around the world. It is one of the most expensive elements for us to take care of in the wastewater industry and it's a constant thing that plagues just about everybody. And now an inorganic compound is most often associated with something that is not living. It is a single element where a carbon is not bonded to a hydrogen molecule. More often, this is like table salt or diamond or silver or sulfur. An organic molecule is most commonly associated with a living organism, like DNA. This inorganic molecule, sulfide, starts off as sulfate, which is SO4 double negative. Sulfate in an environment where the dissolved oxygen, or DO, is less than one milligram per liter in wastewater runs into a bacteria called sulfate-reducing bacteria, or SRB. Sulfate-reducing bacteria normally consumes the readily available oxygen, but as soon as that DO, or dissolved oxygen, drops below one milligram per liter, it then looks for the next source for food, and that source is sulfate. The O4 in the SO4 double negative aspect of sulfate is the oxygen that gets consumed by sulfate reducing bacteria, converting sulfate to sulfide or S double negative. Sulfide in wastewater also generates hydrosulfide or HS negative. Hydrosulfide in the presence of oxygen and with the right pH then generates the most well-known form of sulfide, which is hydrogen sulfide or H2S. Hydrogen sulfide is so identifiable because of its rotten egg odor. This odor is not just a malodorous problem though. It also, at parts per million of 500 or greater, can be lethal by shutting down your brain's ability to control your respiratory system. So unless you have someone there to breathe for you, you will die. At 250 parts per million, your olfactory nerve shuts down and you can no longer detect odors. OSHA recommends you spend less than eight hours in 20 parts per million or less. Between 10 to 20 parts per million is the zone and where OSHA says you should not spend more than eight hours in that. Even in lower parts per million, below 10, you can still get an ongoing headache that can be very discomforting and something that you don't want to experience any prolonged exposure to. H2S is not only a malodorous problem, but it also is the precursor to the next step, which is corrosion. Hydrogen sulfide runs into bacteria that consumes the sulfide and secretes out sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. Sulfuric acid is highly corrosive and it can chew through concrete and metal very quickly. If you do a water study utilizing the methylene dye blue test, which is something that we can get into later to talk about how you sample and study and understand the volume of sulfide in water, you can use these tests to determine what the loading is. At just seven milligrams per liter of sulfide in solution, you can expect the life expectancy of your concrete to be less than one year. If you get 0.5 milligrams per liter of sulfide or less in solution, the concrete life expectancy soars up to over 25 years. This is a very good example on why it's important to be proactive about controlling sulfide. 